Hi and welcome to our channel. Last week we finished the foundation of our pig house. We have decided to try our hand at earth bag building because we've got a lot of earth and we did get our hands on some earth bags a while ago so we want to try this out. And we thought what better place than the pig house because if anything goes wrong at least it's a small structure and that way it's not too overwhelming. We chose a really beautiful spot on our land where our girls have plenty of space to dig, a beautiful view and their own private pool. We have some wheelbarrows, shovels and hoes to work with. And Luke is repurposing junk from around the land to make our project easier. And of course plenty of muscle, our blood, sweat, so much sweat and tears. We do have a digger which would make our life a heck of a lot easier but we cannot use it right now. It's having a few problems. It does move which is amazing because it was out of order for four years and the day it moved for the first time we celebrated like crazy. But it wasn't over all the problems and things kept coming up and now we decided we cannot use it till it's totally fixed. And this week we had a visit from a lovely man who's going to help us sort out the problem. Well try to anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. So the fact that after 30 minutes of actually using the digger that the red light comes on, would that well, just be a thought? I'll, I'll screw that thing back in now and we'll leave it running. Okay. And see, yeah, because there's other things I want to check when it's running, so. Okay. So now it's showing no pressure at all. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I'll order one. I see how much it is. I don't think it is. Um, obviously, this is like this is the heart of the engine. Yeah. Right in there. That's pumping all the blood around. Yeah. So if we put a new heart in it, like we perform heart transplant surgery, we can have basically, yeah. Okay. Drains it. The swivel joints are not leaking now. I know. It's working. But I saw the video, how much oil yes, is coming yes, yes. out. Could be everything worn out and, and when it all when the oil warms up and becomes thinner. Thin. You know, it's not okay. it's not pumping it as well as it should. It's not pumping it up to pressure. It's pumping it around the engine. Yeah, because it, it comes out of here. So you can see it's moving it around. Yeah. But only just. And that's not, not you really want it. Well first I would I'd like to sort to make sure that the engine is good yeah because it's useless trying to fix the oil leak if yeah. the engine has problems i would i would uh, replace its heart we'll do some transplant okay, okay. We'll do some transplant surgery i'll speak to my friend um i did speak to ashley the guy who also helped with this digger quite a few times and he thought maybe the slew ring is all worn out now the slew ring is what the cabin turns on and if it's too worn out everything moves like that right and the swivel joint moves around and that's where the oil is coming out of so it's pretty useless to stay changing everything again if we're gonna have the same results now he suggested there's a pin to lock the cabin the slew so it doesn't turn so I won't have this 360 which it has kind of has at the moment and um, but then I could use the offset of the arm of the boom to actually be able to work at least around 160 degrees yeah. but first things first we need to see that the engine is totally fine so I don't keep pouring money into this thing yeah <laughs> i i mean it's, it's easily accessible it's right there okay um, and, and it's only a couple of cogs and stuff i, don't I think saw it be... i was like that's all it is that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right cool okay i'll contact my friend and i'll let you know when i get that pump and we'll go from there eh? and then i think we'll i'll investigate the um the, the swivel joint the and... swivel joint thing what we need to do there but okay we might get away with maybe we put the new Thicker oil and maybe and new, new seals. seals in it. I, I don't know, but we'll try the thicker oil. Okay. Because it's strange that it's not leaking now. Yeah, yeah. But it's probably like this, it's not leaking now because it's cold. Which would suggest if you put a thicker oil in, you know, your, your hydraulic system as, as a whole is worn. Yeah? I don't think a thicker hydraulic oil is going to hurt too much. Okay, okay. 
All right, we'll go but from I'll there. I'll look into it anyway. Awesome, thanks, Nick. Yes, thank you so much, Nick. And if you want to check out his YouTube channel, him and his wife, Andrea, have done such an amazing job on their property. So if you like beautiful house renovations, go we'll check it out. Okay, also, while Nick is here, I thought I'd take him down to see the fencing to see what he thinks if I've done a good enough job and also to see the earth bag building of their house how it's coming along now I'm going to lay the pipe on What's the pipe drain she's doing a wall down the middle as well uh, it's so two separate two. rooms because they fight slowly bringing them in from the back and the sides yeah so I come up to a point so you can have two of. points yeah that's the plan uh, only thing with that is you'll have a valley in between won't you? that's yeah I didn't think of that yeah so if you got I didn't Point think of that. that. Here you'll have a valley. If, when you render it, put a, um, something plastic in that valley. Or else you're always going to have problems there. Yeah. yeah. So like a, a, a gutter. So it goes. In the, in the bottom of the valley, just because that'll be your weak point. Where it collects. Yeah. I see. Nice. These are pretty expensive. Three meters. Uh, I think they were 12 euros each. Now I'm not going to do the whole perimeter. I'm just going to start it about there, an elbow, elbow, T, and down. I'm not even going to put one here. Um, the way it's dug out, the water should go through the gravel, eventually build up and get into these pipes from there. Just so I can keep the cost down. The whole point of this build is to keep it as low cost as possible. So, so far I've spent about 13 or 14 euros, which was one of these and these two elbows, these two 90s over here and the barbed wire, which we'll see how much I actually use of it. Keep walking! Pepper, go! Go! Keep walking! Keep walking! No, 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 keep walking! Go! off these ends so I didn't stay buying a, a what do you call it a closey pipey thing <laughs> whatever it's called I'll just tape it up and then drill a few holes in
<laughs> One, two, three, catch. <laughs> Clever. Three, catch. Wow. Timmy. One, two, three, catch. Timmy. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. Wow. And try again. Ready? One, two, three, catch. <laughs> You're so good, Timmy. One, two, three, catch. Wow. Molly, look where Timmy is. Oh, I wasn't playing with your tail there, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, what are you doing up there? I was throwing him these and he was catching some. Timmy, Timmy, you want to show daddy how clever you are? Let's see you then. Ready? One, two, three, catch. <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> Rubbish, your cat. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. One, Alrighty, so Sarah has been taking the, the gravel or crushed up granite off the top and this is pretty much the last wheelbarrow of gravel gravel <laughs> and this has got quite a bit of soil with it. It's still very very gravelly if that's a word um, but if we just put this on the big um, rubble that's in the trench with the rain or the soil will sink down and block um, our whole drainage system. So what we're going to do, we'll use this one, we'll level out what we have and lay down some shade cloth and then finish it off with this stuff. This is what we got, you got to work with what you got. I ain't buying gravel.
Is it okay, Molly? No digging. Keep Good walking. girl, keep going, keep checking. Keep walking. Is it okay, the drain? No entry over here. <laughs> no, wait, wait, stop. Whoa, stop. Molly. It's okay, Mike. <laughs> She's the protector of their house. No, no. It's my Molly, it's wait, their wait, house. Stop, 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 stop. They okay. came to check out the no, progress. No, 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 no. <laughs> Molly. Peppa, as long as you don't dig, you can inspect. <laughs> go back here, Mikey wants to come here. Go, 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 Mikey, go. Go, go, Mikey. Mikey. Is it okay, go, Peppa? Don't dig. Here. <laughs> From now on, we have to keep it closed now. Yes. Good girl, Peppa. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out of here! Woo! Okay, we finally finished Stop. the foundation and the drainage. So now we can start with the first course of earth bag. Now we have these, we do have individual earth bags, but we're going to try and use these, which is like a never ending roll and you cut as long as you want. So it's like a sausage skin. Molly, stop it. We're talking to the peoples. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm not going to do the whole thing in one yet because we don't have the experience and I'm not sure how it's going to go. So I think we'll just start with half. Maybe we'll just start from the long side because I'm yeah. not even sure how it's going to yeah. bend around yeah. the corners. I did make this to fill. Um, all I did, I had an old theme bob. Yeah. What is that? An old bottle. An Water old bottle. container. But someone had given it to us, so whenever we don't know what was in it, we, we don't like to use it for water or feed, or so it was fine to sacrifice it. And I just cut off that, glued this in, so I've got a kind of funnel, and hopefully we'll be able to bunch up all that and fill where we need to fill so we also got down a bunch of black plastic because these bags even though they're very strong for earth bag building if you leave them uncovered for a while and they get wet and the sun on them they disintegrate they disintegrate and burst i don't know how many posts i've seen from people online where you know bunch of work it's very physical physically demanding this job and yeah and time consuming time so consuming. it can take months and months yeah and something. then they burst, you know, yeah. nightmare. So we've got some plastic. Now, if it's going to take us longer than I expect, we might even start plastering to protect it. Because that's what you should do, really, is if you're going to take long, plaster, so at least it's protected mm -hmm. from the sun and the rain.
I think it's going to be good. Looks good. Looks like you sussed it out, Chance. Maybe your next one that you make uh, will have like a lip around it so it doesn't go. I need to make an up next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is good. What are you saying? <laughs> As long as it don't tear. Fill her up, baby. make a door, two doors, ways, two doorways rather. Alrighty, I'm pretty happy with that, with my chunky stone hedge doors for my fatty fatty piggy piggies. <laughs> right, that's enough for today. You can fall. You too, because if the pigs come and drop them. Done. Good morning, Molly. You had a good night's sleep. You had a rotten <laughs> egg last in bed. Timmy's there. Oh, Timmy's still in bed. Maggie wants her breakfast. <laughs> breakfast! You, Maggie, you have a scoop in there. That's Pepper's. Pepper, yours is in your bowl. Over here, look. Pepper! Maggie, have your own. Maggie, you were having yours. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Chokes. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, I'm gonna give you food. Don't worry.
Okay, yesterday we filled, what, one meter of earth bag using my funnel contraption thing and very quickly realized that it wasn't working. So, taped this bucket back together, classic cowboy style, for as fails use gaffer tape. And I remembered we had this thing, which is like a, was a clay pot holder. So I'm hoping this might work a bit better. I put a bit of a rope around the rim at the top and taped that on as well, hoping that the bag won't keep coming up so there's a bit of a rim. So let's see how this goes. One thing you can't find in Portugal are these like, um, how many gallon buckets are they? The ones of like Lowe's maybe. or... No, five gallon. I think that's what they are. Five gallon buckets, they are, yeah. You can't get them cheap like that here, not even that shape at all. Even when we were doing our compost toilet, we, we struggled to find buckets yeah. that size with a flat, flat ends, they just flat. But thankfully this one seems the perfect size. Yeah, it definitely didn't work yesterday. It would waste one person on holding the bucket, eh? Yeah. It would have taken forever. And then I remembered about that. Now I also made this to hopefully hold it a bit. Well, it's definitely better than yesterday. <laughs> A stork just came down to drink from the pond, but Molly scared it away. It was way too quick for me to film it. It's beautiful though.
So over the wheel by the way. Yeah. Soon. You heard it down here when you saw the stuff so I believe when you were coming with No, me. I was to the back and I had money bark. I turned and it was right in my face. Ah oh, sir. Ah uh, now at least. Once we have the doorways in, it's this much and that much less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already hoping for less. We haven't even done the first course. <laughs> Just to, to the end there. Just in case. Oh, feed me! Yum, 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 yum. Just missed the stalk again. He just flew out from the pond there and went somewhere behind those bushes. I can hear him. He's still here. There it is. There he is. Wow. Wow. It was drinking. Slowly. There it is. It's on the big rock. Bye, Stork. Oh, it's on the tree. It's on the tree. Awesome, I'm not going to bother it anymore. So maybe it's... Let's finish this and get out of here, so he starts coming here more often. Boom! <laughs> she nearly fell. Molly, leave it, leave it, let us come back. Wow. Molly, come. Molly, wait till you stop chasing the bird. Okay. <laughs> wait till you stop chasing the bird, you crazy little thing. One back. more. It's nice, eh, the bird? You want to kiss it? No, oh, you want to give him kisses, the bird. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow, go have some water from the pond. Go have some chuk chuk water. Oh, yeah, ready! Uh. Huh? <laughs> First course is ready. First course is ready. Very good. Okay, Mela, you take off the plastic and I'll just give it one good tamper all the way around.
All right, that's uh, drain, first course done. Drain is done and first course done. It took us pretty much all day, but I mean, until yeah. we actually started, it wasn't that early, eh? And I mean, that's we're burrowing all the soil from up there, yeah. from all the gravelly soil. Yeah, it's a very hard work. So hopefully we'll be able to get as much as possible from around here, even though it doesn't look like much now. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not going to last us long. We'll see. Yeah. Ah. So what was the, your favourite part of the day? The stalk? The no? stalk, for sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with my contraption there. Yeah, it works very well. Works well. well. The, the bags did uh, one two, three, four, five times, but I was being a bit more careful. I think it was catching and there might have been a few tears in the bags itself. Yeah, They've been maybe. there for three years. We bought them second hand from someone God knows how long ago. <laughs> yeah. um, we do want to thank Marcelo for give, putting something something in our paper. Thank you very much. And also to Gila. Thank you Gila. so much again for your super thanks. We thank really you very appreciate much. it. And also all our patrons. Thank you for, you know, everything you do for us and all you guys for watching <laughs> hopefully next week i'll put the doorways up i do have to measure them against the pigs custom fitting because <laughs> i don't want it higher than it needs to be no. obviously so tomorrow i'll try and get maggie or peppa and just measure their height and width but i might put a bit more leeway for width because <laughs> Pigs. And when they're pregnant, eh? They're, I mean, I they're going to so, be much yeah. bigger. And the wider the door, the less earth bags we have to do, really. Yeah. And the lower, the less earth bags as well. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take it easy, and we'll see you on the flip side. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Shall we cover it up with plastic? Yeah. Let's do it. Protect the bag.